This crowd is making it so I can hardly hear my own voice. They are indeed raring to go. Back now as we draw ever closer to first pitch, let's listen in to public address announcer Mike Carlucci. opportunity now as it comes with the bases empty here in the top of the first. First offering on the way. And a high strike there, 0-1. Got to figure that that man right there would be more than happy to see this guy at the plate taking his swings with two out and nobody on all night long. And so put the guy on the mound. And that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. Chris Davis will stand in now for the first time coming off well, nothing short of a dynamic performance last time out. Well, it makes you wonder how they're going to attack him here in this game. I would bet that they're a lot more cautious with him. Now the first pitch. And he takes ball one. And you figure now this would be a spot where that man might try to take second base. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to hold the ball a little longer out there on the mound. Really very good. Meanwhile here, a stolen base attempt is not going to work out as they put the tag on him to end the inning. Redbirds down quietly. And now the A's offense gets its first shot here. No score. Matt Brenner ready to go here as we begin the third. Here's the first offering. Swing and a miss on a pitch in the dirt, and it's strike one. Yeah, he really pulled off of that one, and that's not the kind of swing we're accustomed to seeing from a guy like him. Right, especially starting off an at-bat. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. He definitely doesn't want a redo of that second inning, so it'd help him immensely if he could get the leadoff man here. Fouled straight back. Ready with another 0-2. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. It's just so hard to lay off that slow changeup. He just did break that swing off in time. Pitch on the way. Now a ball rolled foul toward first as he stays alive. Here's another 1-2. And he goes down and gets this fastball and takes it high in the air to deep straightaway center. And the third inning gets started with a bang. Home run. So it's a solo shot to dead center. His first homer here in the series as the lead for the Cardinals opens up now to five to nothing. This is what you expect when you make it to the postseason. I mean, you expect the guys that have carried you all year to keep on producing, and sure enough, he comes through again and delivers a no-doubter here. Jamie Womack makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. The one-two. And here's a ball hit in the air. Me, 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 me. And Walker will put this one away for route number one. Number 25 will stride in again. He singled and later scored his first time. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Runner goes for second. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. Game four rolls along. We're back after this.
Matt Brenner will stand in. Two hits in two trips thus far. Matt Brenner. Now here's the first pitch. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a hard hit grounder down the line. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Now the pitch. Hammered the other way to deep right field. Go, 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 go. Gone. A mistake on 0-2 gets punished, and it's a home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second home run of the game, and it's now a 6-1 to one ball game. Well, it seems to me like we've seen this before. His second home run of the ball game, and it would seem to me that he hit that one harder than he did the last one, so he's definitely locked in. Matt Brenner will stand in again as he looks for home run number three in the ball game. As we flash you back here to his second home run. He's back in the fifth inning as he has the long ball working in his first few at bats. Now the first pitch. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. The 1-0 pitch. Late swing, but he's still able to get a lot of this one out to a deep right field. But that'll be off the right field wall. Around second, he'll try for third. The tag, and he's out at third. And a poor decision to try to stretch it that time. Yeah, you know, he's got two bases in the bag, but he wants three. And he ain't going to get it as a good throw is going to take care of him trying to stretch that double into a triple. Billy Butler. Stand in to start out their half of the eighth with that starter still out there. He's definitely been a tough nut to crack. You know, he's been dominant all game long, and I think part of it is that he got himself a nice lead early on. That's allowed him to not really worry about making a mistake. He's been free and easy the whole way through. Well, one thing's for sure, this city is going to be rocking tonight. This place is going crazy right now, and for good reason. Their guys are the new champions of the world.